Investors are anxiously awaiting to see whether this new round of U.S. tariffs on Chinese consumer goods will take effect. Now, some are saying, and I read a report this morning in the Wall Street Journal, I think it was Wall Street Journal, saying that many believe this is the last hurdle to get over. Do we, do we have a hurdle? I mean, what, what has been the hurdle? What, what's So, oh, we're only up 25% on the year. We got to get over this hurdle. What hurdle? Anyway, that's what they're saying. I, I don't know what they mean. I don't know if they mean, well, if we get this done, we're really going to move. Forward. We're up 25%. That's good. That's great. But some are saying it's a hurdle that we've got to get over. It is a hurdle when it comes to U.S.-China trade, but it's not a hurdle when it comes to the U.S. stock market. That is for sure. So some are concerned that the uncertainty that would happen if we don't get this phase one agreement would start to deteriorate a decent economy. I, I don't think so. Why would it? It hasn't, sent, it hasn't yet. I don't know that it's going to now, particularly after last week, and we got such great numbers. Now, a few analysts are projecting a rise in inflation that is going to challenge consumers. All right. Can I speak to those few analysts, please? Because I just want to say one thing to them about the concerns uh, that they have over consumers. It's December 9th. It's not September 9th. It's December 9th. In 20 days, the year is over. And you're concerned about the consumer? Really? We're seeing about as healthy a consumer as we've ever seen. And I don't know that you need to be all that concerned about it. It's ridiculous, to be honest with you. Because... Where do you see the retail sales numbers that are coming out Friday? Nothing's going to change that. This is a November number. It's already a done deal. So, you know, but it is going to include Black Friday and the weekend after that, where we saw record highs in retail sales. Uh, consumers are feeling really good. Did you see the job numbers? You see all the numbers. Where do we see, you know, tomorrow is going to be a good indication of where we are with business sentiment is we get NFIB, National Federation of Independent Businesses. When we get their number, it'll be in interesting to see how that, what that looks like. Hopefully it stays above 100. But either way, consumers are good. So I don't think we have a whole lot to worry about along those lines. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.